It feels like metabolism science is 20 years behind, but at the same time, it also feels like we're ignoring ancient evidence that's been right in our face for centuries. Because I know you feel no matter how clean you eat, no matter how much protein you eat, your fat loss isn't budging. Your labs are creeping up. Your energy feels flat. That is flat out the metabolic trap. And that's what happens. I mean, it happens to people that are dealing with metabolic dysfunction and also just happens with people that are aging. But a lot of times this metabolic trap ends up being the early warning signs of fatty liver, of visceral fat, and of course, insulin resistance that can lead to all kinds of different things. Sometimes these things are actually happening before we even show signs of them or before we even have lab work that would prove it to a doctor or prove it to ourselves. What if I told you that there was a tiny seed that's literally been used for centuries that can unlock the metabolic brakes based on newer science. Now this channel is about hard-rooted science, but I don't ignore the old data that we have from history, right? I'm talking about black cumin seed oil. But a lot of people have talked about this and sometimes they get thrown under the bus. It's ancient, but the science is real. And what we're finding out about its active compound thymoquinone is super wild. It's not hype, it's legit molecular change. Before you go out and buy a bottle of this stuff, I also want to share when you shouldn't use it because there are times when you really should not. And that's because the timing and the context really matter. This is a powerful compound. It actually really does work. But if you want the metabolic benefits, you need to use it correctly. So here's what we're covering today. And I want you to stick with me because each thing that I talk about sort of builds on the last and we're going to talk about how to use it in each context. So first, we're going to talk about how black cumin seed oil stabilizes blood sugar. Okay, so how it works in that way and how you can use it properly. Secondly, we're going to talk about how it can actually boost male fertility and have an effect on male hormones, which is wild. Then we're going to talk about how it can affect fat loss and appetite control, specifically when we're talking about visceral fat. Then we're going to talk about the insane antioxidant power behind the active ingredient, which is thymoquinone, and what that does to your mitochondria and overall inflammatory markers in your body. And then lastly, we're going to talk about how it can actually lower cholesterol and protect the liver. So it's pretty wild. And in that section, we're going to talk about when you may not want to use it and how you would want to combine it with certain diets or possibly even medications. Then at the end, I'm going to give you super simple, actionable takeaways and exactly how to use it. So let's go ahead and get into it. I also put a link down below for Thrive Market, which is a place that you could get black cumin seed oil, as well as a bunch of other things. And they vet all the products that come on their shelves, so I fully trust and stand behind things that they bring into their store. And then it gets delivered right to your doorstep. So that's a 30% off discount link. So no matter what you choose to get, whether you fill up your grocery cart, buy a bunch of groceries, or use supplements or whatever, because they have it all, or they even literally have like cosmetics and stuff too, all things that they vet the ingredients on. So really good quality stuff, I stand behind the ingredients. That's why they've been a partner on this channel for almost a decade. So that link down below gets you 30% off plus a free $60 gift. So check them out after this video. So black cumin seed oil has been used for centuries, really, in traditional medicine, but it's now starting to gain a little bit more modern attention, mainly just as a strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. But the main compound here is what we want to talk about. It's called thymoquinone. And the research is starting to show that this legit helps with inflammatory conditions, helps with insulin resistance, and then there's even some cool effects on mental health as well. So let's talk about how it affects insulin resistance and glucose. So black cumin seed oil helps your body regulate glucose, both short-term and long-term. That's what's kind of cool about it. So in the short term, there was a study published in Oxidative Medicine and Cellular Longevity. When they gave this to rats, now hear me out on it, there's human data in a second, it ended up lowering their fasting blood glucose, and it ended up improving their insulin response. So they were actually able to produce more insulin, which sounds bad, but they were able to produce it in response. There was less insulin resistance kind of at a pancreatic level. But the human data shows this too. There was a PLOS-1 study, it was a clinical trial, and it was one that followed type 2 diabetic patients for a year. Okay, so they took either placebo or two grams per day of black cumin seed oil along with their medication. After 12 months, they did this for a whole year, the black seed oil group dropped fasting glucose by 12%. They dropped their HbA1c by 5%, and they improved their beta cell function, while the placebo group actually got worse. So the whole idea behind the beta cell function getting better, that's huge, because that tells us that the pancreas is functioning better. That's why it produced more insulin properly. So black cumin seed oil reduces the oxidative stress at a pancreatic level. This is allowing the beta cells to regenerate and function better. So it's also slowing the glucose absorption in the gut. 
So you're having less carbohydrates and better insulin response. And then there was a study that was published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology. It found that black seed oil inhibited what's called sodium-dependent glucose transport in intestinal tissue. It was essentially mimicking metformin. This is tremendously huge. In fact, when they compared black seed oil head-to-head -head against metformin with glucose tolerance, it was just as effective as the metformin. So let's talk about some practical use in this particular case. If you're looking to improve glycemic control, you'd want to take one to two grams per day. Don't go above that. And you'd want to do it with breakfast or just your first meal. You want to avoid pairing it with medications that are going to be hypoglycemic, that are going to try to like bring your glucose down. You may want to talk with your doctor about that first, just because it is potent. So test out with like one gram, then maybe bump it up to two grams and see how you feel because it is effective. This next one surprises a lot of people. There was a phytomedicine study on 80 infertile men, and it found that five milliliters daily of black cumin seed oil for three months increased their sperm count by 28%, and it increased their sperm motility by 9%, while the placebo group, as usual, declined. So mechanistically is what's important here. It's all about antioxidant protection. Okay, so sperm cells are super rich in unsaturated fat. It makes them very vulnerable to oxidative stress. They get oxidized easily. So free radicals will damage that membrane and then fertility drops super fast. So the studies are showing that infertile men have lower antioxidant capacity and higher oxidative stress. So this thymoquinone that's in the black seed oil neutralizes the reactive oxygen species and actually protects the sperm DNA from oxidative damage. So for this particular case, for like male hormones and male like sperm health, two and a half milliliters, maybe two times per day for about 90 days. And if you're already on like any kind of hormone therapy or any serms, you might want to be careful here. Do a little bit more research on it because again, they can't interfere. This stuff is potent. Now let's talk fat loss though, because that's where most of us lean in with this stuff. There was a food and function study. It was a trial that gave obese people a low calorie diet plus three grams of black seed oil daily for eight weeks. They lost significantly more weight and they ended up having a significant reduction in their waist circumference, but they also had improvements in their LDL and triglycerides compared to placebo. We're talking like metabolic overhaul. And then there was another study. It was in complementary therapies and medicine. This one showed a 44% drop in hunger and a 19% increase in satiety just two hours after meals. So it changed the entire way the body responded to food. Mechanistically, the way that this was working is it seems to suppress appetite by reducing intestinal glucose absorption. So it was activating AMPK the same pathway that is triggered by fasting and exercise. Very, very similar. So if you're looking to use it for a little bit more of like an appetite control kind of thing, you want to take one gram before each meal. So that would be three grams total per day with a mild caloric deficit. This works through more of regulation versus overstimulation. So you don't want to take it if you're already like cranking up the caffeine or cranking up the fat burners. In fact, it's a great time to cycle off the fat burners and use the black seed oil. So you're activating a different pathway and then cycle off of it. Now let's move to the cellular protection side because this is where black cumin seed oil really shines. Thymoquinone is an activator of NRF2. This is a gene that triggers your body's own antioxidant system. One of the most important things you can do. Forget external antioxidants. You want your body's own antioxidant defense system to work. So there is a Helion study that looked at rats in this case, and it pre-treated them with thymoquinone before they had a heart attack. Okay, this is wild. They had a massive increase in glutathione, as well as superoxide dismutase, catalase and other antioxidants, and they had preservation of the mitochondrial DNA. So they had less inflammation less oxidative damage, and less cell death, even under legit serious stress, like a heart attack. If you're dealing with metabolic dysfunction, and there's a good chance you are, mitochondrial support is huge because this is when mitochondria fail. When that happens, fat oxidation tanks and visceral fat accumulates. It's a very delicate system. So if this is the case, you may even want to look at like a standardized oil extract of pure thymoquinone. So 200 to 400 milligrams of thymoquinone. You could also rotate it with other NRF2 activators, so things like sulforaphane, instead of taking it daily because you do build up a sensitivity to it or a tolerance to it. So you want to maintain your sensitivity. So I would rotate with things like sulforaphane instead of stacking it daily in this case, and it could preserve the intensity of it. But where it gets really interesting is with the liver health. This is fascinating stuff. There was a study in the Journal of Family and Community Medicine, and it was a trial on type 2 diabetics. 
and it tested them at one, two, and three grams per day of black seed oil. After 12 weeks, the two and three gram groups had major reductions in total cholesterol. Their LDL went down, their triglycerides went down, and they had an increase in their HDL to LDL ratio. And I don't care where you stand on that whole process and that whole system, when you have an increase in HDL, it's a good thing, period. And mechanistically, black cumin seed oil is really high in specific kinds of linoleic acid. So normally I'm not a huge fan of high amounts of polyunsaturated fat, but in this case, it seemed to protect the liver and actually helped convert into ketone bodies instead of triglycerides. So that shift ended up offloading fat from the liver. This is really important if you're dealing with fatty liver disease. Okay, so it ended up taking some of the stress off the liver there. So if you're looking for more cholesterol lowering effect and liver protection effect, one to three grams daily with your main meal. But if you're on like statins, you may want to talk with your doctor because it can actually enhance the lipid lowering. And you just, you may need to make sure you may need to actually adjust the dose. It's that powerful. So again, I can't overemphasize like this stuff is powerful. It can really enhance like lipid lowering effects that you need to be aware of. But let's talk about when not to use it. So if you're already on really strong things that modulate blood glucose, like maybe even metformin, you could actually drive your blood sugar really low. So that's the kind of time you don't want to use it. You also don't want to use it right around a workout because your glucose could drop quite a bit. It's powerful. You want to keep it with the meals and not right around your workout. Another thing is there's not a lot of evidence if you're pregnant or if you're breastfeeding. So you may want to just skip it altogether because the data is just super limited there. But otherwise, it's very safe. It's well tolerated. And it's a powerful metabolic tool when you use it strategically. And again, the most important thing is you need to cycle on and off of it. Do not take it all the time. I remember when I was first given it by my doctor, he made it very clear. He's like, hey, one month on and then go off of it. But just to recap, with black cumin seed oil, okay, you're balancing your blood sugar by regenerating the beta cells and you're slowing intestinal glucose uptake. So you have less sugar coming in. You're protecting your sperm. You're improving fertility. You're helping out those antioxidant defenses. This works for women too, as far as like hormone protection. It helps with weight loss. It reduces visceral fat. It suppresses the appetite and it improves your insulin sensitivity. And then the big one we covered, it boosts your cellular resistance. So you're increasing that NRF2 activation and getting that mitochondrial protection. And then lastly, it lowers your cholesterol and it supports the entire like liver fat metabolism. So you have less risk of a fatty liver. But like any metabolic tool, it is totally about context and timing. So we're talking usually one to three grams, or if you want more specific extracts, like two to 400 milligrams of the thymoquinone. Now, I put a video here that talks about another great tool called TMG that you can use if you're dealing with insulin resistance. It's a very potent compound that's in beets. Yes, our food has this stuff. So that video is right there. Check it out. And as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you tomorrow.